Oh, we walk ahead in this video, I'm only showing you how to completely unroot your phone and take it back to stock. Um, this you may want to do this if you want to return the phone, take it in for repairs, or you might be um, ready to sell the phone. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, first things first, you're going to need your model number. So, you're going to jump straight into settings, go straight to about um, device, and you're going to find the model number, which is SM9110F. If you have a different variant like a Verizon, T Mobile, or the Exynos version, your one will be different. I'll show you exactly what to do to find the right uh, stock ROM to download. So now we're just going to switch over to the computer really quickly. I'm going to show you what you need to download right now. Now that I moved over to the PC, um, the first link uh, is going to take you to download the Odin. Um, you need that to flash and the second link is where you download the uh, main stock ROM. The, the ROM link by default is for the Snapdragon one. This is the SM9010F. Uh, so um, if your one is different, like you have a T-Mobile variant or Verizon, you'll go here and then you'll find the correct model number. Like I showed you just before, you know, to find the correct uh, which model number you have, you scroll down and you find the correct one. So my one's this one, you got different variants, you got the T-Mobile, you got New Zealand, Canada, you got Exynos, Snapdragon. So you just find the, um, your one right there. And when you get to this page, um, you're gonna have a uh, region. This is this, this this is the main one you need to pay attention to. If you hover your mouse over it, it's gonna tell you uh, which country it is. So you got France, Italy, and then you got the neck next to it as well. So you just need to go through the list and try to find your one. The British UK one is BTU, which is right here, United Kingdom. This is the one I download. Obviously, you will, you will download a different one or the same one depending on where you live and what neck you're on. So make sure you download the uh, correct one. So the next thing to do is to turn off your phone. And we're gonna boot up into a, a download mode. So to get into download mode, you press volume down, the home button and the power button. So just wait for it to fully switch off. Wait for those lights to disappear. And we're gonna jump into download mode and we're gonna connect it to the PC. And then we're going to click volume up to continue. Um, one thing to note is if you're having problems, um, if, if the, your computer isn't picking up your phone, you might need to download the Samsung drivers um, with that as well. That could help clear up a few issues. I have the link to the Samsung drivers in the description so you could download and see if that uh, makes a difference. So next we're going to do is connect it to the PC. And then we're going to go back to the PC. So the next thing you want to do is the file that you just downloaded which should be this file you right click and extract here and it should extract this file this this hold on a second this dot tar file right here it should extract um, ignore that file for now and next one will go back to old and once you've gone into download mode like I've just showed you and connected your phone you should see this here right here next you're gonna tick the PDA box and then we're going to find the uh, file that you just extracted. This file right here. We're going to open it up. And you wait a few seconds and it should add it to the thing. Like I said, if your device isn't, if Odin isn't picking up your device, just install the Samsung drivers and, uh, and that should help a lot. But the Samsung drivers are just for Windows. So bear that in mind. So after it finished add, um, added to the um, to Odin, you make sure you the only boxes you want to make sure is ticked is auto reboot and F uh, reset time. You don't want any other box ticked, and you don't want the repart repartition uh, box ticked as well. So after that, um, you just want to click start down here, and it should start. and it's going to take a little bit and then it's going to flash the boot image the recovery system image and all that stuff and bring your phone completely back to stock it should take maybe one or two minutes to do and then your phone should be uh, back to stock and there you go make sure you don't disconnect it until it says pass and then it's just to um, upgrade your Android apps. 
I think you do get to actually keep your Android apps that you had installed before but it just flashes everything back to stock so that now that's finished um, you can actually close this as you don't need it anymore and just wait for it to finish upgrade let's go upgrade 143 apps so as of right now that's finished you can close that down and disconnect it from the PC so after you boot it up I highly recommend you um, factory reset the phone because you're gonna come up with a bunch of errors and it's still got stuff there from your ROM, it didn't actually wipe it, it just um, installed stop ROM back on there, you're going to get loads of crashes like these. So turn off the phone, we're going to head straight into recovery mode. So volume up key, power button and home button, should take you into recovery mode. So now that you boot it up into recovery mode, I don't know if you could uh, see that. There we go. So we're just going to do uh, wipe data factory reset and click yes. And that will wipe all the stuff that you have off your phone. So if you have anything on your internal storage before you do it, um, you make sure you want to back all of that stuff up. Make sure you back up all your pictures and stuff that you need on your phone. Back all of that up. And then we reboot system now. So once you boot back up, you should be back into the stock one. And we're just going to go through the whole setup process again. We're not really going to set anything up this time around. We just want to get past everything except to the terms and conditions and all that stuff um, no not now next Right now, you can set everything up properly if you want to. But as of right now, we're just going to come out of this. I'm going to jump straight into settings. About phone status. So if you go into official, um, no, about phone is um, status. It should say official at the bottom. Straight after you went back, oh, after you unrooted the device and went back to stock ROM, it would say unofficial, that means you can't get software updates. So go back into the recovery like I just showed you, do a factory um, reset and it should bring it back to official. Now you can do software updates and there should be um, software updates available. I think there should be at least one um, update available. I think it's searching for updates now. And then that's it and see there's a software update which you could download and install and that is bringing your phone back to stock completely and bringing it back to official but I know if you go into I think it's download mode it does say something uh, that, uh, like the flash counter so something in there that shows it is um, you know it's been tampered with but this is how you bring it back to a stock, um, official stock ROM so you can get updates again. Maybe if um, Lollipop comes out officially you want to go back, this is a perfect way to do that. And yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below. Did this tutorial help you at, uh, at all? Um, leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Peace.